In every high school in Henrico County, students are offered challenging curriculum with the option of honors or AP courses for even greater rigor. But for those with a special interest, with a passion for a specific area of study, who desire a focused concentration, there are amazing programs that are best described with one word. So whatever your interest may be, one of these centers could be the right choice for you. I think that our center uh, has things that make it unique because it's applied science and math, not just what they do in a textbook. So they really get to use all the math and science skills that they learn in their math classes, science classes, and apply them in what we think are real world situations. Any project we get here helps us solve problems, so it helps us relate to the real world. And you always challenge, you always find something to do. What made it stick out for me is just Seeing the people that went here and being like, those look like great people that I could go spend four years with. We really are looking for the best and the brightest students to, to apply because that's what it takes to, to be successful in the field. This center is special and different because we concentrate in the Spanish language. So anybody who loves Spanish and wants to widen their global mentality, this is the place for them. We can take PE in Spanish, World History too. We actually get to go out to elementary schools and teach kids Spanish, so that's a great opportunity. Just knowing multiple languages is one of the most useful things you can ever do. Culture is part of our title global citizen. We are preparing students to become global citizens because when they leave here they're going to step out into the real world. <laughs> the Americas did not have any kind the of Center for the Humanities. We study humans and the achievements of humankind. Artistic, uh, intellectual, philosophical, creative genius in all human endeavors. These are the humanities. Humanities is definitely a good fit for me. It's definitely taught me how to speak better. It's taught me how to be a leader. It's taught me a whole lot about every different subject that you can possibly imagine. Our Socratic approach to teaching and learning offers a, a very engaged environment among students and with teachers. I really have a lot of opinions. I like to express like what those are and I like to hear what other people have to say about certain topics that might be sort of like controversial or like interesting to discuss because people have different views and they come from different backgrounds. If you think in an abstract way, it's great to come here because no one's going to criticize you for thinking in a weird way. Students learn to read carefully, uh, write clearly and concisely, uh, think creatively and critically about the content, and develop the ability to express themselves orally. I believe skills that allow a student to pursue any academic endeavor in college. The students we're looking for at the Todd Allen Phillips Center for Medical Sciences would be the student who's interested in pursuing a career in the medical field. We have elective classes for students in our center like genetics, anatomy and physiology, organic chemistry. I feel like in our classes in the center we do a lot more hands-on things just because we are able to. But in general it's a broad field with a good job outlook and it's something that I really like. I really enjoyed science ever since I was a little kid and um, I knew that this was a place where I could explore that more. We do have some professionals in the medical field who are working with our students in internship programs as well as mentoring students through medical research. Our focus is for the students who are interested in a medical career, but we do have a lot of students that are here because they enjoy the rigor of the coursework. IB as a specialty center is different from our other sister centers in that we are the center with no specialty. IB offers a classical liberal arts curriculum in which students face rigor in all of subject areas so that they can find themselves without having to specialize too young. It is a program that is connected all across the world to students in different countries. Um, we offer two different programs, the Middle Years Program and the Diploma Program. And so it is a program for students who are interested in a different perspective, who are interested in learning about different cultures, 
um, and who want to be a part of something bigger. Because of IB, I'm more able to articulate what I want to say and uh, kind of express my ideas and not only just like in the context of our community, but in the context. It's we, I guess it's just a different type of learning environment that we have in IB. You wouldn't be able to receive in any other school. Yes, academic rigor is very important, but it has to relate to the real world. How am I going to make a more ethical decision? What am I going to do with myself and how, how am I going to act in the world? We want our students to leave the program with a better understanding of the world and their place in it and their opportunities to make positive change in the world. The Center for Information Technology aims to prepare students to be successful um, in going into college and careers in computer science and information technology. There's so many different aspects and it really allows you to find your passion in IT. It really allows students to innovate and learn about what they're interested in and not what they have to learn about. So you're going to see students um, working collaboratively um, to solve problems using computers as well as not using computers. They're going to, you're going to see students coding, you're going to see students creating websites, dealing with security, and just generally understanding what makes computers work and how that impacts our world. Vous allez compléter les activités. Representation becomes the big issue in the Constitutional Convention. The Advanced College Academy here at Tucker High School is a program that um, affords the students the opportunity to earn an associate's degree in social sciences from J. Sargent Reynolds Community College. I chose ACA because I knew I would get an early start in my education and it's tuition free. Because they will graduate from high school with the associate's degree, they'll enter college with up to 60 credits that they're able to transfer in, which is the bulk of the first two years of college. In five, four, three. One of the best things about this center is that it teaches you real world experiences. The teamwork that you get to have in this center is different than you get to have in a regular classroom. We have InDesign that we use, we have Illustrator, Photoshop, uh, but we also have video equipment, we have two broadcast studios, we have a newspaper that we run. You get to learn how to meet a deadline, you get to learn how to work with others. Um, I thought journalism would be perfect for me and when I realized we were doing filming too, I was like, oh, that would be great and it turned out to be something that I really wanted to do. I've learned so much and if I hadn't had come here then I probably wouldn't have realized that this is what I want to do. You also had the real world experience of going out and do internships and maybe working with one of the news stations, or maybe working with one of the newspapers. We have lots of opportunities for people. What skills do you think you use today that maybe has improved since the first? It's called the Center for Education and Human Development, and basically we're looking for students that are interested in some sort of career and where they, where they can have some sort of leadership experience, um, potentially in education, maybe psychology, human resources, and the way we teach our classes is we teach them in the way like very, very, very 21st century, and what I mean by that is we emphasize communication, we emphasize uh, collaboration, critical thinking. A lot of times students are actually like, working in groups, it's very student-centered. It's interactive. You can with the Promethean boards and the teachers just have different resources for you to use. The teachers, their personalities, like they just really show that they love their job and that they love caring for their students and it really shows in the work. The CFA is for students who have a passion, a talent, and an interest in any aspect of the visual or performing arts. Our program has four different curriculum areas, visual art, dance, musical theater, and theater. What could you do to fix Just being in a whole environment of like theater kids, it is, it's explosive. <laughs> Get to be around people like you. Really aware of the art world, it's just really comfortable, it's nice. It's like a family that understands what you're going through. <laughs> classes that I knew would be offered here that wouldn't be offered anywhere else. You'd never find a dance class of the same caliber in any other school. When I first came here, I was like, I get credit to dance during the day? They were like, yeah, you get credit. You get two credits for it. I'm like, okay, sweet. Like, I get credit for dancing. That phrase Advanced College Academy at Highland Springs. It's an exciting opportunity for young people that want to come in and earn their associate's degree in business administration. So a two-year college degree. I was in advanced classes ever since I've been in grade school and I felt like 
it would be a waste if I just had advanced classes when I could get a, a degree at the end of it, so I chose ACA. All the faculty that teach it are high school faculty that are considered adjunct uh, professors through J. Sargent Reynolds. So in fact when they graduate from here they not only have an advanced diploma on the high school level, they have a two-year associate's degree from J. Sargent Reynolds Community College. This is the Center for Leadership, Government, and Global Economics. Uh, it's kind of a social sciences center, politics, geography, philosophy, sociology, psychology, how and why people act and think and behave the way that they do. Our goal is to help students not so much become leaders, but understand how the process of leadership happens. A hallmark of the center is having um, really in-depth and constructive conversations about sometimes controversial issues. I'm not completely outgoing, and I thought that it would help me be a stronger individual in formulating arguments and just being a um, better person overall. The knowledge and the ability. Our goal is to get people uh, talking to one another, uh, asking questions, not satisfied with easy answers. Uh, so the oval table does that really well. It forces people to look at one another and not at the teacher. Ultimately, the goal is to engage one another and the things that we read and watch in a way that helps them ask those questions about themselves. ACE is the Advanced Career Education Center. We've got a lot of incredible programs here for all of our students. Um, the connection here is that we are preparing students to do whatever they would like to do, whether that be to go straight to work or to go to college or to go to college and to work. The ACE Center has a variety of different education courses that they, we offer to students in their junior and senior years of high school. Um, so, several of the courses have dual enrollment components to them where we are in partnership with Reynolds or John Tyler Community College ECPI so that students who take the courses receive high school credit and also college credit. There are a lot of connections already with a lot of core classes that our students have with chemistry, with the sciences in general, and mathematics in general as well. And then also there are lots of connections with workplace readiness. We prepare our students for college and career, so when they graduate with us they have an industry certification or a state board licensure where they can go directly into the workplace. And as a lot of the courses uh, also prepare students to go into college, so if that's the route they're taking then they are prepared for both college and career. I think that maybe um, there are some students who don't know what incredible programs we have here, but there's something here for everyone. So whether your interests are in the arts or engineering, medical sciences or social sciences, a specialty center may be the right choice for you.